A pair of tornadoes hit a Charlotte County subdivision, leaving a number of residents homeless. SNN's Kelly Rittenauer has a report tonight. All hell broke loose. We came out, the fence was all down, the pool fence is all down. Downed power lines, broken fences, and uprooted trees are just a few signs of two tornadoes that blew through Charlotte County. And all of a sudden it was sounded like a freight train was coming through here. And you couldn't see more than maybe a foot in front of your face. The wind was coming this way. It seemed this damage seemed like this. National Weather Service Emergency Warning Coordinator Dan Noah was on scene to assess the damage and confirmed an EF1 tornado touched down in Deep Creek. We're still trying to lock down how many miles it was on the ground. As well as a second tornado in a nearby community. Murdoch had a brief EF0 tornado. It was pretty uh, fast, I mean super fast, and there was two rounds of it. Have you seen anything like this? Yeah, in 2004 when Charlie came through here. Barbara and her husband were home at the time. While they escaped unharmed, their home is one of at least 11 deemed uninhabitable. And uninhabitable can mean anything from, you know, significant damage to the roof structure, so that's probably what they're looking at right now. Charlotte County Fire and EMS Chief Jason Fair says he's proud of the way his agency and others responded. We were definitely prepared for it, but also very happy with the response too. So everybody was committed, and that was across the board too. It wasn't just Charlotte County Fire and EMS who was there and ready, but also the Charlotte County Sheriff's Office was there. Florida Power and Light was ready. Emergency management, even the weather service coming down and being on location with us was absolutely helpful. Through the tears, residents are comforting each other and helping those in need. Reporting in Charlotte County, Kelly Rittenauer, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. No injuries have been reported. FPL officials say the power was expected to be restored by midnight. Charlotte County Red Cross was also at Fire Station 12 in Deep Creek tonight to assist those residents.